Hey yo everybody, welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. I hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. Me and Rumpelstiltskin are hanging out this morning. He is gorgeous. It usually goes blurry when I try to do this, so I hope you can actually see him that time. Um, but yeah, we were hanging out here, having a discussion. <laughs> um, and we were talking about substrates. Um, and I got to thinking about when people first get into this hobby, um, it's one of the first things they start to research is what substrates are best for them. And we all get the general same answers, right? You know, we've got the aspen, the cocoa fiber, cocoa barks, and all those good, you know, really well used uh, substrates out there. But what we also hear are that we should stay away from certain things like pine and cedar because those things are toxic to our snakes. But something I haven't really seen talked about often is exactly what about those woods um, makes them toxic to our snakes and what it does to our snakes physically that puts them at harm. So I really want to spend today's video talking a little bit more about that. So softwoods like cedar and pine, they smell nice. They have a really nice aroma um, and something you would you think you'd want in your enclosures and your space because it would just be so nice to smell. Unfortunately, the same thing that makes them smell good, the aromatic, the aromatic contents in it are actually what make them toxic. So the compounds inside of these woods that cause that nice aroma smell are also really known for causing skin irritation. But that's not the thing that makes them the most problematic for our snakes. These compounds also cause the breakdown and eventual death of the cells in the respiratory tract. Once this happens, the animal's natural defense barriers start to break down and it makes the animals much more susceptible to getting infections in the lungs. On top of that, these compounds can activate enzymes in the liver, which can cause really abnormal metabolism of certain drugs. So if you've got a snake who's recently been on some type of medication or is currently in the process of taking antibiotics for anything and they end up getting being on this wood, it can affect the way that they're actually metabolizing that medicine and they may not be doing anything for them in the long run. And it has been noted that through prolonged exposure, woods like cedar and pine can actually affect the reproductive rates of our animals as well as promote cancers. So there's definitely a lot more than just irritation of the skin that we have to worry about when it comes to these woods. And I thought it was very important to bring to light all the things that woods like cedar and pine can do to our animals. I don't know if it's actually been talked about too much in video form. I had to do some pretty good digging and, and, and researching to actually find uh, some more in-depth information about why cedar and pine are toxic to our snakes besides just the fact that they could potentially cause respiratory issues is what you usually see or that they cause irritation to the skin which is what you usually see when there's obviously so much more that goes on because of those uh, particular substrates so I hope this video can help people understand why those woods should be avoided um, and give you guys a better understanding uh, as to how dangerous they can be to our animals and exactly what dangers our animals are being exposed to when we actually put them with cedar and pine so avoid the cedar avoid the pine and softwoods like such that have those really strong aromatic uh, compounds in them because they are super dangerous to our animals um, and that goes for not just for reptiles either that goes for mammals as well so anyway just do a little bit more research don't take just my word for it do your own research find some of the same information that I have found on my own um, just to give you some more solid reasons as to why we want to avoid these particular substrates because I know sometimes people just get a little curious and if there's not enough information provided for them they're going to try it out anyway and I would rather you guys know as much as you can about why we want to stay away from those substrates before you put your animals in danger so that's all you guys take care of yourselves love your loved ones love your reptiles love yourselves and you guys keep spreading those herbs <laughs>